What's up guys, Mayhem Blizz, we're playing Run Sausage Run for the 41000G. It's available for 499 but it is constantly going on offer so you should be able to get it at half the price. So the first thing we want to do is obtain 500 stars so we can purchase the Bloodwurst power up from the customization option. So to do that I'm going to have to go into the survival game mode and we're going to select the beach level so we can uh, rinse and repeat this until we've got 500 coins. So the controls are really simple, you just hold the B button to sprint, uh, obviously let go of the B button to stop sprinting and raise your head to collect some power ups and the coins that we're going for. You can track the coins in your top right hand corner of your screen, the gold coins give you 50 and the silver coins give you uh, 5. So yeah, just rinse and repeat this. Uh, make sure when you die to not revive yourself as that takes away uh, 50 of your coins. We just want to replay until we've got 500. You will also get the zombie achievement for dying twice. Um, unless you've got way too much talent uh, in that case. Just make sure you die a couple of times to obtain that one. <laughs> Now we've got 500 coins, we're going to return to the menu, select customize, tab over to the power ups and purchase the blunt worst power up. We're going to go back into survival mode and select the beach level. So with the blunt worst power up we can simply hold B and we'll breeze past all of the obstacles. There is a spinny bamboo wheel which is your biggest threat uh, but we're still just going to hold B. Um, let go of the B button to obtain all of the power ups, coins and power downs as well as there are achievements for those. So our main aim here is to obtain the quarter dog achievement and that's for reaching over 100 yards in three runs in a row. Um, another thing we want to do is when we're attempting this is once we've reached 100 yards we're not going to stop there and we're going to attempt to reach 250 yards and that will also net us the Dave, Joe and Tube Man achievement. Um, we only need to hit 250 yards once, uh, so once you've done that, carry on trying to get 100 yards in free runs. So yeah, keep that in mind and only use your revive if you're close to hitting 250 yards in a single run. So I'm just going to mention some other achievements that you will obtain while going for this. That's the rubber achievement uh, for running straight through five obstacles. Obviously you saw me get this one really early on, um, but using the blood worst, you just hold B and you'll be able to grab that one no problem. The guardian angel achievement for passing 30 seawater puddles at the beach. Obviously we're already going 250 yards, so we'll grab that one. The Soccer King, so that's for dodging three cats in a single run. So the cats are the crabs in this level, so if we dodge three crabs in one run, that achievement will pop. The Viking Achievement for passing 30 obstacles in a single run as well. Uh, again, getting to 250 yards, we'll get that one uh, with it. And the cowboy achievement for passing 500 obstacles. Now obviously that's quite a lot of obstacles so uh, you may want to focus on getting the other achievements first and then coming back and cleaning up uh, any of these achievements with this method. So as you can see there I obtained the quarter dog achievement but I still need to reach 250 yards in a single run for the tube man achievement.
So now we need to pass 100 yards in the other survival locations. That's the garden and the kitchen. Uh, this will net us the tourist achievement. So what you can do is you can rinse and repeat the uh, the beach level for 1,000 coins to purchase the pack power up as it does help in these garden and kitchen levels. Uh, but it's up to you whether or not you want to do that. I'm just using the normal smoked power up here and using the revive if I get close to that 100 yard mark. So there we go, once you've reached over 100 yards in the garden, we can simply uh, let ourselves die and move on to the kitchen level. So there we go guys, there is the tourist achievement for passing 100 yards in each of the survival locations, the beach, garden and kitchen. Now we have those, we can select the blood worst power up again and head back to the beach level to grind out coins and the power up based achievements. So the achievement I'm going for here is the Dark Father achievement and that's for collecting the freeze ability four times in a single run. So this is probably the most difficult one out of the collecting achievements, um, but this method would obviously work for uh, the baller achievement for collecting 25 enlarged power-ups, that's the up arrow power-up, the bulk achievement for collecting enlarged three times in one run, so obviously the same power-up but you're, select you're collecting three in a single run, and the businessman achievement for collecting five coins in one run, <laughs> you've probably already got that one already, and the Mr. Sock achievement for using the Bun Shield power up 25 times. You can get this one a little quicker if you purchase the power up from the customization screen as well. And the Cowboy achievement for passing 500 obstacles. So whatever power up you plan to collect, obviously just let go of the B button uh, when you're directly underneath it to collect it. Um, I wouldn't focus on sort of getting the other coins and power ups, just focus on one achievement at a time. Um, and you should be able to get those no problem. But yeah, like I said, that freeze ability, the four times in one run, that was the one that is the most difficult. So if you can obtain that one, you should be able to grab all of these other ones pretty easily. So now you should have a large amount of money now. So we want to go back and into the customize tab and we're gonna purchase some more power ups. So these are the skins, we want. We don't want any of those, we want to push the right bumper. In here we want to purchase Wise Worst for 100 stars or coins, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we're going to play as him three times for the gummy achievement. Um, and this will also get us the fitness achievement once we've purchased the other power-ups. So obviously we don't need to play this normally, we can just simply die and replay the level, do that three times and we'll net the gummy achievement. Yeah. 
So then the last power up we need to purchase is the packed power up. Uh, as soon as we drop in and play you'll net the fitness achievement. Unfortunately I'm on my second account so you won't see that one pop. Um, but likewise what we did with the other power up, um, just die um, at the start of the game um, and do that three times and you'll net the racket boy achievement. So now we're going to go for the dying based achievements. So there's two achievements here that I'm not going to show as it's most likely that you already unlocked these just by playing through the game normally. That's the cannibal achievement for dying nine times at the dicer in the kitchen or the foot at the beach uh, and the foot at the garden as well. The finger achievement for dying nine times at the guillotine in the kitchen um, or the umbrella uh, in the beach. So the dying based achievements I will show are the ones that you need to obtain in a row. So that is the guard achievement for dying by the hammer six runs in a row in the kitchen. Or if we're doing it at the beach, which we're going to do, it's by the spade from the baby. So as soon as you see the baby appear on screen, you want to let go of the B button to stop sprinting and let the spade demolish you. Once you've let it demolish you, you can just replay. Obviously, don't revive yourself, otherwise that won't count. And then we need to uh, do that six times. Now, I know the achievement uh, does mention doing it five times, but that is false. It doesn't unlock. You have to do it six times. So the other dying achievement we need is the cat sausage, and that is getting killed by a cat in the kitchen six times in a row. Or obviously, if we're doing it at the beach, we could get killed by the crab. Now, I did try it with the method I showed earlier uh, for the guard achievement, but the crab is too slow at responding. So unfortunately, we need to go through the single player and complete some of the levels. Now, what we need to do here is we can um, use the Bert Worst power up to whammy through all of these levels. It doesn't take long at all. We can hold B. Um, I wouldn't even let go of B at all because we do need to get some revive achievements. Uh, so when you die, just revive as it only costs 10 points here and we need to revive 25 times um, and that will net you the mummy and the ghost achievement. Fast forwarding on here, the earliest we can get to the cat in a kitchen is round 31. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to take advantage of being able to pause and replay a level uh, Because we do not want to get killed by something else like the guillotine or anything like that um, So if you think you're gonna get killed by something else press start and replay the level um, You can get the cat quite early on so maybe um, if you've passed a few of the weapons and enemies, uh, make sure to just replay, otherwise you are risking getting killed by something else. So again, the achievement says to uh, get killed by five, uh, sorry, get killed by the cat five times, but that's false, we need to do it six times in a row. So now we want to get the final multiplayer achievements. You can do this in split screen locally, so make sure you've got your second controller turned on. The game modes we need to set up is a panic race. We need to have bots turned off and select 30 rounds. So the first achievement we're going for is the dino achievement and that's for finishing a multiplayer run with a tie. So on both controllers, make sure you're holding B at the same times, dodging obstacles and enemies um, and getting over the finish line at the same time. So the next achievement we're going for is called Kevin and that's for dying nine times in the lawnmower you can obtain this with the second controller just having them not move and just by sprinting with your main controller. If you haven't gathered, the lawnmower is on the left side of the screen there, so obviously not moving and sprinting with your other controller will force the other sausage to get mowed down. So the final achievement, guys, is called Pirate. 
and that's for scoring over 500 points in a multiplayer game. So this is why we set the game mode to 30 rounds, just so you can obtain that one easily. So there we go guys, you don't need to complete all 30 rounds, you can just, as soon as you get the score over 500, you'll get the pirate achievement and you can finish it off there. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick 1000G. Um, I'm trying to get to 2000 subs, so if you could drop a sub on my channel that would be awesome and I'll keep dropping videos like this.